Hi everyone, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can make a basic maze game on Scratch. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to make a game just like this one, where there'll be a beetle trying to reach the rainbow. Once it does, there'll be a backdrop that says, you win. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave us a like, and share our videos to others. Let's get started with today's video. To start off, we're going to go to scratch.mit.edu and click on Create. Once you've clicked on Create, it'll take you to the Project Editor. And now we're going to name our project to Maze. And we're going to delete the cat sprite. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the beetle sprite and we're going to choose the Maze backdrop. Your maze backdrop can be anything. I took this from another application called PictoBlocks. So PictoBlocks is an app just like Scratch, except there are more extensions on PictoBlocks than Scratch. So now I'm going to decrease the size by 40. So I'm going to change the size to 60 and I'm going to point in direction 0. So when I put the point in direction, when I change the direction to zero, it's going to be pointing forwards. So now we're going to drag a when flag clicked. We're going to go to X and Y. And X and Y is basically the position of the beetle of our sprites. So the X position is basically the horizontal position and the Y is the vertical position. So X is negative 137 and Y is negative 141. Now we're going to make sure that it points forwards. So we're going to change point in direction to zero. And we want it to, we want to set size to 60%. And now we're going to make sure that we can move our beetle right, left, forwards and downwards. So we can do that by first getting a for our loop and an if then condition. So if the up arrow is pressed, we want it to move upwards. And the Y axis is the vertical one. So we want to change Y by a certain amount. So I'm going to change Y by 10. So if he up arrow pressed, we want to change Y by 10. And now we're simply going to duplicate it, change up to down. And when we want it to go down, we're going to change it by negative 10. So it's going to be a negative value. And now we're going to duplicate that and we're going to change it to right arrow. So we're not going to keep it change Y. We're going to change it to change X because change X is the horizontal axis. So I'm going to change X by 10. And I'm going to duplicate that same way, change right to left and 10 to negative 10. So now I can move my beetle right, left, up, and down. So what you'll notice is when you're moving the beetle towards the left or the right or up and down, it just stays in one direction. So what I'm trying to say is when the beetle moves right, we want to point towards the right, point towards where it's going. So I'm going to drag a point in direction. So when it's and when it's going upwards, we want it to point forward, so point in direction 0. And when it's going downwards, we want to point direction 180. And when it's going towards the right, we want to point in direction 90, 90 degrees. And when it's moving towards the left, point in direction negative 90. So now you'll see that we can move right and left with the beetle pointing towards where it's going. So now what we want to do is once the beetle like we, we want to make sure that the beetle can't move like move into like behind these black lines. So these black lines are basically a barrier. So we don't want the beetle to go through it. So to do that, we're first going to duplicate this forever loop. 
and now we're going to change for the up arrow we're going to change 10 to negative 10 and for the down arrow we're going to change 10 we're going to change negative 10 to 10 and for right we're going to change 10 to negative 10 and for left we're going to change negative 10 to 10 and we're going to put all of this inside an if then condition and we want it to do that when it's touching the black color which is the barrier so we're going to use the color picture picker tool and pick the black color so now oh wait i forgot to attach it to a when flat clicked so now as you can see the beetle can't move past the barrier so it's working perfectly now we're going to choose another sprite and this sprite is going to be the rainbow so there you go and i'm going to change the size to 70. you can choose whatever you want you can maybe choose let me check if there's treasure okay whatever you want so First, I'm going to drag when flat clicked, so we want it to go to X and Y. And now we're going to drag an if then condition. So if, I'm going to put it in, in a forever loop. So if it's being touched, so if the rainbow is being touched by the beetle, then we want to broadcast another message called game over. Game over you win. And then we want to stop all, stop the script. So now let's go to the backdrops and paint another backdrop. So we're not exactly going to paint it. We're just going to add some text. So we're going to add the text, you win. I'm going to change the color, the text color to black, align it to the center. And I'm going to use the square tool and create a square. I'm going to change the color to the color of the square to navy blue. And now I'm going to change the font color to white because black is too dark. Okay, perfect. I also want to change the font family to handwriting. It looks really cool. So now I'm going to go to the backdrops and when I clicked, so I'm just going to name my backdrop. So this is the you win. Ooh, ooh. And yeah, and this is the maze. So when the flag is clicked, we want to switch the backdrop to maze. And when I receive game over you win, we want to switch the backdrop to you win woohoo. And now we're going to go to the beetle. So when this backdrop comes, the UN backdrop comes, we want the beetle and the rainbow to hide. So when I receive game over you win, we want to hide. Same for the rainbow. Okay, let's check the game out. So when the flag is clicked, we can move our beetle. It's not passing through the barriers. It's working perfectly. Okay, it's working. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a videos a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.